Chip Ganassi Racing that will see the green flag first. Let's go. Takuma Sato is not too far behind, and Alexander Rossi as well. Oh! oh look at the rookie, there's a spinner! Connor Looks Daly. Like Connor Daly spins it. Oh! oh big hard hit, hit for I think <laughs> Oliver Askew. Oliver Askew oh. lost it in the smoke, and that was a massive hit. That was nasty. So it was panic in the back when Connor Daly lit it up and lost it. And then you can't, I would imagine Townsend that the smoke, he probably couldn't see. Well, but he, he was, I mean, he was so fast onto the scene. I, I'm not sure if Connor Daly was hit or what happened as the AMR team quick to tend to ask you get the fire out on the right rear. That was a big hit. Wow. That was a vicious angle, too, that he came darting off of turn four. Not to bring, it, bring up bad subjects, Danica, but you've had accidents where you just go straight towards the wall. I've actually never had one, and you're just a passenger. You're like, oh, my God, this is going to be a big one. So that's Connor Daly in the US Air Force Chevrolet for Ed Carpenter Racing. Connor is talking to the AMR safety team. And they will uh, they'll help him out of that car in just a moment. And yeah, Re yeah Rex what's it like when you have no control of your car? <laughs> like you've had it happen at Daytona where you're going at an angle and you can't stop, but you're just looking at the wall going, oh, my God, here sure. we go. Well, you, I think you saw that the NASCAR drivers started doing what I was doing in those wrecks that I learned from an Indy car, which was to let go of the steering wheel. Once you've lost it and there's no getting it back, you just let go because in an Indy car, your thumbs can break and get caught in the steering wheel. So I started doing that in stock cars, and it's funny, I've, I've seen some more of that ever since then. <laughs> Connor Daly is out of his Ed Carpenter Racing Chevrolet, his seventh Indy 500. Coming to a very premature end. This is Oliver Askew trying to get himself out of that Arrow McLaren SP Chevy. The youngster who had done so well in this race. For sure, is that he hit the wall really hard, so he's uh, shaking up a little bit there, but he's out. And thinking about a very scary moment that he had coming off of four. The gloves come off, and it looks like there's a lot of, I mean, you get the wind knocked right out of you when you hit hit that hard. Just needs a minute here to get his bearings around him. Might have smacked his knees together. That that That's one of the things that'll get you in an Indy car is an impact like that. You get the inside of both knees cl effectively clapped together at a ferocious rate. This is the Indy Lights champion of a year ago, the 23-year-old from Florida. He's been on the podium in his rookie season. He's a very nice young man who's got a big future ahead of him. That was the speed at which he darted across. So here we go. Connor just yeah. loses it on the power. He's down way low. Lots of smoke. He's got the throttle wide open. And in the back here, I don't really know what, I don't know if he got touched, but bang, oh. side slap, pancake the wall. Thank goodness Super for the hard. safer barrier. Thank oh. goodness for the safer barrier. I wonder if I don't Connor know if he got, got his turned. left front onto that apron uh, that caught out Alonzo in practice. Yeah, I think it might be Townsend it was, maybe just trying to get squared up to get a run and on that concrete. We've got a great view right here if he touched that concrete. Yeah, he's on the concrete. <laughs> yep. So on the concrete, it jacks weight in the car and you're full power and he loses it, keeps the throttle buried. But it'll be interesting to see if we can get an angle if Askew got turned by somebody because of the way the trajectory was where he went towards the inside. The view from Zach Beach and the gang bridge on board. There goes Connor. Reach to the high side. We still don't really see what happened with Askew. Askew was fast arriving on the scene behind Elio Castro Neves and Simon Pagino. Look down to the bottom left. He just uh, took a nice oh, action. Yeah, he just, just got caught in the smoke and didn't know where the car was. You couldn't see it. I couldn't see it even with the camera, the high angle. And he just was trying to avoid it. And uh, just had a big oversteer moment there. So confronting. But again, Oliver Askew is out of his car, so to Connor Daly. Bottom left is where you'll see Askew take evasive action. One of, 
one of the things that can happen on these restarts that you don't see so easily is that sometimes you can check up and if the car's a little light anyway, you're already not at speed with the right downforce, so all of a sudden the car gets even lighter as you lift and, uh, and bad things happen. We had an onboard with Oliver Askew and hopefully caught the moment to try to get a better read of what happened. Here we go. You're all clear. Listen up, listen up, Stay high, high, high. Yeah, he's on the brakes, Paul. Yeah, he just couldn't.